Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Windows Security. Whenever you launch it, you got the error, page not available, your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of this app and the item you tried is not available. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. I'll go ahead, click on the start menu and whenever I choose Windows Security, I'll go ahead and open it. This is the error I am getting. So let's go ahead and proceed with the installation. First of all in the basic step, click on the start menu and type PowerShell. Run PowerShell as an administrator. In PowerShell, we are going to reset your Windows security. So once it is opened, I have this command, select it, right click and copy and paste right over here by pressing the Ctrl plus V key and then hit the enter key. This will go ahead and reset Windows security for you. Once it is done. Close it. Now don't forget to restart your PC and once your system restarted, again try to launch your Windows Security. If this method failed to work out and you are still getting the issue of page not available after opening Windows Security, let's proceed with the second step. Right click on Start menu and choose Option Run. Type here RegEdit and then hit the Enter key. Now in RegEdit, again you need to paste a path. Here is the path. Copy the path from the description of this video and paste right over here in the address bar and then hit the enter key. Now in this right pane, you need to create two different values. Right click new dvr 32 bit value and give it a name disable nt spyware. Double click to open it and value data give it a value 0. Now second value is again right click new dvr 32 bit value and give it a name Disable real time monitoring. Again, open it and value data, give it a value 0. Once it is done, click on this policy manager and over here, if a file with the name allow UI is present, open it else. Again, go ahead and create a new file, dvr 32 bit value and give it a name allow user UI. Double click to open and in value data, give it a value as 1. Now hit the OK button. Now go ahead, make sure you restart your PC after performing these steps. Now if this method also failed to work out and still page is not available in Windows security, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose option run. Type here lusrmgr.msc and then hit the enter key. In this method, we are going to create a new user account. Double click to open users, here right click new and choose the option new user. Give it any name. Suppose I'll give it a name Lotus Geek. Give it any name and if you want to set a password, set the password else left it blank. And then check the option user must change password at next log. Then click on the option create. Now close it. Now here is the Lotus Geek, the new user account that we have just created. Now click on the start menu and next to your username, you will find the option of new user account. Go ahead and log in into this newly created user account. After logging onto the new account, you will get a screen like preparing your desktop and once it is completed, you will get a fresh new desktop in your system. Now, what about these files present in my earlier user account? So in order to get these files, head over to C drive, open users folder. From here, open the folder with your username. Here open OneDrive folder, desktop and you can see all the files are available right over here. Go ahead, copy all these files and then Again, head over to your users folder and over here, open the newly created user account at my end, which is Lotus Geek. And just heading over to the desktop of the newly created user account, paste the files and you are welcome with your new desktop. Now you are ready to launch your Windows security and this will completely fix out the issue of page not available. However, if all the method fails, the last hope you have is to do a clean installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11. And in order to do a clean installation, you need to format your C drive. So make sure you do a backup of your C drive before proceeding with the steps. To avoid video going more lengthier, I have already created on how to do a clean installation of Windows. I'll share the link of this video in the description of this video. Simply watch it and this video will help you do a clean installation of Windows 10 or 11 which will completely fix out the issue of page not available. Your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of this app. One more thing friends, here is the link to download the Windows 10 or Windows 11. However, it's a third party link. 
you can do is to use this link to download windows 10 or windows 11 directly from the official website of the microsoft simply open the link depending upon the type of windows you have you can easily create windows installation media using this link and in windows 11 using this particular link. if you face any kind of issue go ahead do let me know in the comments below and i'll there to support you so as of now this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching